How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing great. So, today is Valentine's Day as of this recording, and I didn't have any plans, so I thought to myself, why not work on editing videos and recreating this ASMR video? Because I had actually recorded this a couple of days ago, I think Wednesday. I want to say Wednesday. But I didn't really like how the sound turned out.
she's like, what? So she steps out of the apartment and she looks around and then she's like, there's no robot. I'm like, what? So I go out of the apartment and I'm looking around and sure enough, there's no robot. And I'm like, what? I have no idea what I saw that day, ladies and gentlemen. But I do know that ever since that day, whenever I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would hear thuds outside of my apartment or above uh, my floor, I would always think, it's the robot that's going to come and kill me. So, a lot of people get a kick out of that one. So, that's the robot story. I really apologize for this chair. I, my uh, typical chair squeaks a lot, so I thought I'd use this one, but apparently this one squeaks a lot too. So, anyway, so my second story um, explains. My second story is the reason why I don't go on blind dates and I don't do any online dating. Now this happened to me when I was young, not as young as the robot story, but it was still pretty young, but it left a significant impact in my life, so I'm a little skeptical about both online dating and blind dates. So when I was in seventh grade, I had a friend who I had a friend.
told my buddy at the time that I was dating a really pretty girl. And he looks at me and he's like, you're full of crap. I'm like, why do you say that? And then that's when he's like, because I don't believe you. I'm like, well, feast your ass on this. And I showed her the picture of her, the other girl. And he looks at it and he's like, either she lied to you and she's the other girl. Or she photoshopped herself and made herself look pretty. And I'm like, man, you're full of crap. And then that's when I got the idea, hey, I'm supposed to have breakfast with her. Why don't you come with me and you'll see for yourself. And my buddy was like, all right, I'm going to prove to you once and for all that. That, you know, she lied to you. So. I think, I don't know when we had this conversation, I think it may have been the weekend, but anyway, Monday rolls around, and basically, I'm waiting with my buddy, and I see my friend, the, the friend that uh, me and, at the time, my girlfriend knew, but I didn't see the girl in the picture, but I did see the girl, or let me back up, I did I only saw my friend that both me and my girlfriend at the time knew, but I didn't see my girlfriend. What I did see was the other girl in the picture, and my buddy, my buddy just started laughing, like trying not to laugh, he would be like,
exact same area. I think it was he was about a couple blocks away. <coughs> time.